Hello, good evening. Hello, Hi. Hello, hey, good evening. How are Hello, you? good evening. How are you guys? Fine. How are you tonight? You're fine. It's nice to see it's you. Good. One more time. Welcome, Veronica, Angelica, Edith. We have Juan Antonio, Maria de los Angeles. Welcome. Who else we have? We have Jensi, Jessica Rivas, Lenin. Hello. Hello, good evening. We have Christian, we have Joaquin, Joaquin Hello. Jesus. Hello, welcome. Ana Beatriz, welcome. Catherine Rebecca, yes. Roxana Guadalupe. It's good to see you one more time. Yesterday, we could not connect, right? And thank you for the comprehension. Okay, teacher. Thank you very much. Gracias por la comprensión. Yesterday I was with my throat. Ayer estaba con el gran dolor de, de garganta y las temperaturas. O no, dije, no lo voy a lograr. Okay. <laughs> so thank you. Okay. We are here now. Remember that in the previous class, we saw about the simple present, right? We formulate the questions, we do and thus. So now we'll continue here but now with another objective. And we're going to learn about vocabulary for furniture. So all of the objects that we need in our home. Yeah. So which are those? There are a lot of things, right, that we need. For example, the armchairs. So these are not sofas, but armchairs. We have a stove. We have table, bookcase, dresser, coffee table, stove, curtains, microwave oven, we have chairs, mirror, refrigerator, pictures, clock, lamps, sofa. So this will be the sofa, right? In the one that you can sleep, that will be sofa. Then we have a rug, television or TV, right? That is very common to know as TV. We have a desk and we have a bed. Now let's check here. Which rooms have the things in part A? So which rooms, for example, kitchen has a table, has a stove. What other elements does a kitchen have? Refrigerator. Excellent. Microwave oven. Ah, that's right. Yes. A mm -hmm. microwave oven. The refrigerator. Uh huh. Correct. Refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So, chair. Chairs. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes it has chairs. Yes. Okay. Oh. Which one? Sorry. The table. The table, yes, sometimes it's necessary table in the kitchen. You mentioned also the microwave oven. Uh -huh. Microwave oven. Y normalmente hay pictures. Oh, yes, exactly. We have pictures, also curtains, right? <laughs> sometimes there are curtains, yes, that is true. And they have different decorations, maybe of fruits, vegetables. Mm -hmm. So let's see, pictures. So that normally that we can find in a kitchen. What about in a dining room? Um, what normally find? Yeah. Armchairs. Armchairs. Armchairs in a dining room? That's in a living room. Chairs. Um, in a dining room is like the area where we eat. Both guys. Okay, okay, perdón. I'm sorry. Hey, good evening. Good talk, evening. Uh, Welcome. Uh -huh. Good night. Good share evening. Bookcase. A bookcase uh, in a dining room. Remember, the dining room is the area where you eat. Hello. Hello. Chairs. Hey, good Chairs. evening, Rene. Welcome. Chair. Ah. Chairs, right? Uh -huh. Chairs. It's where we eat. El área del comedor. Table. Chairs. Uh -huh, we have a table, chairs. What Clock. 
a clock in the dining room. Yeah, that's true. Uh, pictures, it can be pictures. We have chairs, pictures. Mm. What else? A TV. Sometimes you have a TV in the dining room, right? Yes. TV. What else? We got a table. We have the chairs. Mm. Normally, we have that. Puede haber un microwave oven. Sure, yeah, that is correct. Yes, microwave oven. So those are very common things that we can have in that place. What about the living room? Remember, the living room is the area where you watch TV. You relax in that area. So Television, ah, okay. Sofa. Uh -huh. Armchair. Armchairs, yeah. Bookcase. Bookcase, exactly. That's good, a bookcase. A room. A room. A rug, Lamp. yes. A rug. There's lamp, curtains, clock. There's sometimes. A clock, yes, that's true. Lamps. Lamps. Pictures. Yes. Pictures, yes. Coffee Shave. table. Coffee table, yes. Chairs, yes. Yeah. Chairs are necessary if you have a person that visit your house, right? Lamps. Curtains. 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 Lamps. Uh -huh. We have lamps. lamps. Pictures. A farm. Pictures. Uh -huh. Yes. So there are rug. a lot of things, right? Rug. Uh -huh. We have a rug. A so farm. Different. Which one? A farm. Ventilador. Are fun. That is true. Yes, it's necessary, right? These days it's too hot. Yes. That's very necessary. What about the bedroom? Bed. Right? The bed, bed is very necessary. Bed. That's true. Bed. 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 What else? Desk. Yeah. Desk. 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 Yes, if you have like the uh, your space for your office, Mirror. right? Mirror. Alarm. Okay. Mirror. Alarm. Mirror. Mirror. Yes. True. Mirror. Mirror. What else? Rock, Dresser. right? Dresser. Dresser. Excellent. That's good. Curtains. Curtains. Bro. A picture. No <laughs> Pictures is true. Yes, maybe about your favorite oh. singer, actor, right? Actress. Picture. A TV. A TV. Podría haber yes. sofa? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, sofa. sure. Sofa, armchair. Sofa or armchair. Or armchair, armchair right? It's possible. Yeah, that's true. Sofa, armchair. So a as we know, clock. a clock, right? That is true. The alarm clock, if you use it. So there are a lot of things, right? Different elements that it can be in the kitchen, also it can be in the dining room, or you have different elements there. Now, we are going to watch the Sometimes a bookcase. Sometimes a bookcase, yes, that is true. If you like to read before going to bed, so mm -hmm. you can have a bookcase too, yeah, that is true. Now, let's watch the video. So. That's the vocabulary about furniture. <clears throat> Share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary. No problem with the video? No problem. No, no problem. Thank you. Vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs, Arm stove, chair. curtains, pictures, curtains, clock, clock, bed, bell, table, table, coffee table, coffee table, microwave oven, microwave refrigerator, refrigerator, lamps, sofa, sofa, desk, desk, bookcase. Dresser, Dresser. Chairs. chairs, mirror, mirror, rug, rug. television. Other yes. vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom. 
And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bathroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, as you saw on the video, we described these elements. All of these ones that you have as possessions in the different areas of your house. For example, it mentioned the kitchen, the dining room, living room, bedroom, and we got some examples. My living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has, and now we are going to complete. Let's start here. Let's see Jessica Rivas. Let's start. Describe what your kitchen has. Uh, my kitchen has a stove and refrigerator. A stove, a refrigerator. Refrigerator. Uh -huh. And pictures. <laughs> and pictures. Excellent. Thank you. That's good. Okay, continue. Edit Lorena, please. My dining room has. My dining room has. Um... Table. A table, very good. In... Este es el área de comida, dijo, ¿verdad? Eja, el del comedor. Ajá, ok. Uh -huh. In... A microwave oven. A microwave oven. Um, chairs. Chairs. Um, television. Uh -huh, that's good. Chairs. And television. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with Christian. Thank you. Christian, now describe your bedroom. bedroom. Uh, has a bed. Uh huh. Has a bed. Clock. A bed. An alarm clock. Uh, a dresser. A dresser. A rug. A rug. A mirror and television. Very good. A mirror and a television. All right. It has a lot of elements. Thank you. Let's continue then with Ibis. Now you are going to describe... Your okay. living room. My living room. Um, living room. Uh, has. Um, uh, my living room has. Has. Eh, has. ¿Cómo se dice hamaca, teacher? Perdón. A, a hammock. Huh? A hammock. No, hamaca. Hammock. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Hammock. My, my living room has hammock. Has. has. Uh, sofa. Uh -huh. Has a sofa. Has a uh -huh. hammock. Good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A sofa. So a sofa. Um has window and curtains. Mm -hmm. A window and curtains. Uh -huh. And curtains. Um has a table. All right. A table. And a mirror. And a mirror, all right. Thank you so much. So my living room has a hammock, a sofa, a window. We will repeat it here. A window, curtains, and a table, right? Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Great, we have it there, nice. Now let's see Juan Antonio. 
Now sí. describe your kitchen. Mm, my kitchen has has a stove, a stove, a stove, micro, a stove, a microwave oven, a microwave oven, refre, refrigerator, a refrigerator, refrigerator, and um, Pantry. A pantry, yes. Um, it's, it, it's all. It's all. It's all? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So that is the description, right? You have different things or different types of furniture in the places, right? Of your house, uh, specific areas of your house. Sure. Yes. Okay. Tell me this. Eh, cuando digamos, vamos a decir eh, equipo de sonido, solo decimos eh, a radio o... o a radio? O... You can say uh -huh. a stereo. Ah, stereo. Stereo, uh -huh. right? A stereo. Uh -huh. okay. Can Gracias. also say, you're welcome, surround sound also. Like the one that you put to the TV for when you watch a movie, it sounds like in a movie theater, right? That's surround sounds, like Sistema de Teatro. That's surround sound. A stereo, the radio, that would be a specific thing. Speakers, right? All of that has to do with sounds. Okay, gracias. Yes. You're very welcome. Any other question? All right, Rene, continue, please. Now describe your living room. My, my living room, living room. Uh -huh. has in my living room has chairs has chairs chairs a uh -huh. table a table micro como se dice micro a micro a microwave oven my a micro oven uh -huh. oven y stove la cocina como se pronuncia stove a stove. A stove. And a stove. Right, okay. You described them. Yeah. Nice one. Okay. Now, let's go ahead here in this part. We're going to check about there. there is and there are. Here we have the case of existency. We see. Existency is when you refer. There is. And there are. So basically, it's, it's el verbo haber en español. For singular nouns, we use there is. And for plural nouns, we use there are. But the two forms express existency. Let's see, for example, in the singular noun. There is a sofa in the living room. If we observe here in this living room, there is a sofa. It's the existency of a sofa. Only one, that's individual. There is an armchair. The armchair is here. Now, in the case of negative, we can say two options. There is no TV or there is no television. If we observe here, there is no television. Or there isn't a TV in the living room. <clears throat> Sorry. So this will be, you can also use a contraction. Like this is the complete manner. There is no TV or there isn't a TV in the living room. Now, these ones are only for the singular. We are going to repeat it. Let's see. Veronica, Maricela, let's repeat this one, please. There is a sofa in the living room. There is a sofa in the living room. Thank you, Maria de Los Angeles. There is an armchair. There is an armchair. Very good. Thank you. Veronica Cepeda, continue. There is no TV. There is no TV. Thank or you. There is uh, a TV in. In? In living room. In the living room. That's all right. Thank you. Okay. So now let's check here. More examples. Give me more existency. More examples. Edit. 
Give us another example in singular, affirmative. There is a... Mm, there is a, a lamp. There is a lamp. Uh -huh. Only one. There is the, a lamp. Uh -huh. lamp. Okay. In the living room. In the living room. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Something okay. else. Gen C. Gen C, Alexandra. Give us another one. Another example. Yes. Uh, affirmative. Uh -huh, affirmative. Um, there is. Uh -huh, there is. There is. Um, um, a mirror. Do we have a mirror? No. This is a picture. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah, a picture. Yeah, yeah. Um, sería, eso es for pintura, ¿verdad? Lo que está ahí arriba. Picture. Picture, una imagen. Ah, picture. Una imagen. Um, entonces sería, there is a um, picture. There is a picture. In the, in, the in the living room, room. Uh -huh. or on the wall, you can also say, on the wall, sobre la pared, the wall. Oh. Good one, thank you. Okay, let's continue, Miguel Antonio. Yes. Another example, please. There is a cat in the living room. Hey, that's very good, yes, there is. Look, here we can also use a contraction and say there's. There's a cat. There's a cat in the living room. Very good. Thank you. We can also use contraction, right? There's a cat in the living room. Very good job. Nice. Now give me negative example. Who can give me negative? Ana Beatriz. Tell me something that you do not observe in that area. <clears throat> There is not a shire in the living room. Okay. There isn't or there is no. Mm -hmm. There is no chair in the living room. Or there isn't, right? There isn't a chair in the living room. That's good. That will be for the negative. Thanks. That's good. Let's see Angelica Rodriguez. For negative, mm, there is mm, there is not a mirror. Ah, very mm. good. There mm. isn't mm. a mirror in the living room. In the, uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. In the living room. Okay, so there is no existence of that object. Luz Garcia. Another example, give us negative. There isn't a refrigerator in the living room. That's correct. There isn't a refrigerator in the living room. That's great. Okay, so we have existency or not existency. That can be affirmative. And we have singular, but also it's possible to have plural. We're going to see some other examples. So now we're going to read them. Let's see, Lenin, read the first one, please. There is a I lamp. Have, I have an example for plural. Ah, okay, go ahead, tell me. Uh, they are a plant. plant. Perdón, ¿cómo se dice? Ah. Planta? Plants, plants. Plant. There are plant. plants. There are plants in the living room. In the living room. That is true because you have plural case. You have one and two plants. There are plants in the living room. Thank you. That's correct. Good one. All right. Now let's read these examples. We have the affirmative form and the negative. Lenin, can you read the first one, please? It says there is a lamp in the living room. Lenin? Lenin, are you present? No? Gabriela Abigail? 
Gabriel? Present me. Hello. Okay, let's read Hello. the first one, please. Hello. Let's read this one, please. There is a lamp. There is, there is a lamp in the living room. Thank you. That's yeah. correct. Good one. Let's see. Let's continue. Maria de Los Angeles, continue with number the or the second one. There is a picture. There is a table. A picture, a picture. A picture. It's on the second one. There is a picture. Quiere oración negativa o positiva, perdón. Uh, no, it's, it's this one. It's the examples you have here. For example, uh, the first example says there is a lamp in the living room. The next example is there is a picture. A picture on the wall. Oh, uh -huh, that one, exactly. Read it, please. There is a picture on the wall. Repeat it. There is a picture on the wall. That's right. Thank you. Rene, continue. There's a cat in the living room. There's a cat in the, in the living room. Living room. That's correct. Ana Beatriz, continue. There is no chair in the living room. There is no chair in the living room. That's great. Good. Let's continue then with um, Joaquin. There isn't Hi. a mirror. Hi. Welcome. There isn't a mirror in the living room. There is a mirror in the living room. There isn't. There isn't. There. Isn't, there. there isn't. Good. A mirror? A mirror in the in living the, room. In the living room. That's correct. Good one. Let's see. Miguel Antonio. Yes. There is a refrigerator yes. in the living room. Refrigerator? Refrigerator in the living room. In the living room. That's all right. Good one. Okay. Any question? With the risk? Tengo otra con there are. Ah, okay, tell me. Give me another example. There are pillows in the sofa. There are pillows in the sofa, exactly. So we continue here. We have the plural. In the plural examples, we know that it's not only one, but probably is two or more elements. In the structure, there are plus a plural noun, like the example you were giving. Ah, there are pillows in the living room. Excellent, that's correct. Now, another one we have, there are some. We can also use some. Some is yes, a quantifier. Some. Sorry? The uh, is there are some plants. There are some exactly the ones that ah, you gave. Okay. Yeah. Sí, que no dije eso. Cuando le dije la oración, no le dije eso. Ah, but that's <laughs> no, but it's another, it's another form. Es otra forma de decir. Ah. Podemos decir ah. there, there are plants, de hay plantas, pero también podemos indicar como un cuantificador para decir hay algunas plantas. Ambas son correctas. Ah. Entonces, ah. son es para. Decir nada más un cuantificador. Algunos. Algunos o algunas. Varies por ah. plural. Este es para plural. So there are some plants in the living room. Another case. There are no drawers in the living room. No, it will be for negative. There are no. What is drawers? Drawers are like things that you have, for example, this one. They are very similar, like gaveteros. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, right now I for example you can have drawers in an office uh, you can have drawers in your bedroom like to put clothes son gaveteros and in the actuality it's not only wooden but also can be plastic or metal so those are drawers son gaveteros en general ahora hay de pasta de plástico hay ahora, ¿verdad? they are drawers <laughs> in EPA if you go to EPA that you can find drawers. Sanchia, los productos, los de plástico. Ah, ajá, yes, ratán, right? There mm. exists also ratán. So you can put clothing, se guarda ropa, right? So it's like those. Similar than a dresser. Okay. So those are. Y para have... decir, teacher, eh, para, decir, pero, para decir que, porque ahí no puedo decir... Puedo decir mascota nada más porque una rata no es mascota. Ah, yeah. Entonces, <risa> no, 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 
Look, there are people that they have a pet. Hay, hay personas que tienen a, a las ratas de mascota. No, pero o sea, eso es, es como es algo así como excepcional. Pero es 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 exotic animal. Ajá. Tienen iguanas. Yes. I, used have, I used to have an iguana. Yo solía tener una iguana. Oh, ay, no. Yo quise pensar que era un conejo, pero dije yo no. No, but it's, maybe it's a hamster, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It looks like a hamster, ah, right? Mm -hmm. It can be a hamster. They, sí. they look very similar, right? The appearance is very similar than that. Pero. <laughs> yes, the tail, la cola, right? Mm -hmm. right? It looks like a mouse, no. Or other people, they prefer to have a, a pet, like a tarantula. Imagine <laughs> as a pet, the mascota, a tarantula. My God. No. <laughs> or a crocodile. Okay. Exotic. Okay. They are exotic animals. Or los cerditos. <laughs> or the pigs. Yes, that is true. Yes. Okay. So we have affirmative, right? In the affirmative, you use some. In the negative, you can say no and also any. So, para uh, decir una afirmación, sería some, pero para negar algo, decir como ninguna, sería any. So, in the negative, it also have, there aren't any drawers in the living room. So, no hay ningunos gaveteros en la sala. So, this is to put more emphasis. Esta es innecesaria, este any, pero es para colocarle como más énfasis porque solo con decir there aren't drawers in the living room it's okay but any puts more emphasis on the sentence so let's give more examples let's see in the affirmative case Jessica Franco can you give us another example now in a affirmative Jessica Franco are you present no. Christian? Christian Briseño? An affirmative example, please. From here. Um, there are. There are some. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it can be some, uh huh? <clears throat> uh, no. Uh, what? How do you say cojines? Ah, pillows. There are some pillows in the uh -huh. in the sofa. Uh -huh. On the sofa. On the sofa. Excellent. Sobre superficie, on, right? Or in the living room. Or in the living room is like at the area. That's good, right? Good one. On yes. The sofa. That's nice. Good. There are some pillows on the sofa or in the living room, right? Let's see another case. Jonathan, give us another example, please. Give us uh, affirmative. Yes. Eh, para decir mascota, por ejemplo. Pets. No, mascota. Pets. pets. Ah, okay. Yeah, entonces, there are some pets uh, mm. in the living room. Excellent. That's good. There are some pets in the living room. That's great that we have affirmative manner. Veronica Cepeda, give us another one. Now give us negative. Negative. Yes. Oops. Con there are. There are. With there are, yes. So use the plural. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Ah, that's great. There aren't any chairs. Great, there aren't any chairs in the living room. Now, as you have negative, you can put emphasis using any. That's all right. Thank you, that's good. Continue, Carlos Arturo. There are no TV in the living room. There are no TVs. TVs, right? Because you're using negative, right? There are no yes. TVs in, in the, the living room. room. Very good, yes. Great, thank you. Nice. Catherine, Rebecca. 
Catherine, are you present? Adaliset? Hola, te voy en el autobús, teacher. Oh, yes, you can oh, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Mauricio? No, Roxana? Roxana Guadalupe? I'm here. Hello. Give us one in negative, please. Um, there are no. Um, there are no. A mirror in the living room. Plural. There are no mirrors. Okay. In the living room. Very good job. Nice. Great. There are no mirrors in the living room. Great. Okay. Now we're going to read them. Let's start. Luz Garcia, read the first one, please. There are some pillows on the sofa. 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 Thank you. Let me continue. There are some pets in the living room. The link. Joaquin. Hello. Hello, Joaquin. Let's read the second one, please. There are some pets in the living room. Excuse me? Can you read the second, please? There are some pets in the living room. Ah, uh, okay. There are some there? They in the living room. There are some pets in the living room. Some pet in the living room. Thank you. Okay, continue. There are some pet in there the living There are. There are. There are. This one you pronounce there are. There are some pets in the living there room. There are some pets in the living room. Very good job. That's nice. Thank you. Let's continue. Angelica Rodriguez. There aren't any chairs in the living room. <clears throat> there are aren't there aren't there aren't any any chairs any chairs in the in the living room living room yes thank living you room. that's right thank you Ana Beatriz continue there are no TVs in the living room there are no TVs in the living room great Jency continue there are there are no mirrors in the living room. There are no mirrors in the living room. Living room. Very good job, guys. Excellent. That's right. Okay, so we have existency. Affirmative, negative. Remember, in affirmative for plural, we use some. It's not necessary, but you put emphasis. It's just a, a quantifier. In the negative, you use there are not or there aren't. Or to put emphasis, we can use any. And you have singular and the plural. Do you have questions with the reason there are? <clears throat> no. no. All right. We're going to pass the, the list right now, guys. Please pay attention and just let me know if you are present. Ada Lisset? Ada? Present teacher. Thank Present. you. Thank you so much. Ana Beatriz? Present. Thank you. Angelica Maria? Present. Thank you. Carlos Arturo? Present. Thank you. Christian Daniel? I'm here. Thank you. Edith Lorena? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Fatima Yesenia? Fatima Yesenia, <clears throat> Gabriel Abigail, present me. Thank you, Ibis uh, Areli, <clears throat> present teacher. Thank you, Ibis. Jessica Franco, present. Thank you so much, Joaquin Jesus, present. Thank you, Jonathan Adonai, present teacher. 
Thank you, Jonathan. Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio. Present, Miss. Thank you, Juan. Present. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Present. Thank you. Kevin Orlando. Kevin Orlando. Lenin Monterrosa. Lenin Monterrosa. Liliana Patricia. <coughs> Teacher, Lenin está escribiendo en el chat que sí está, pero quizás okay. no puede ocupar el audio. Ah, ok. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Liliana. Liliana, Patricia. Luz Margel. And present. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. María de Los Ángeles. Present, teacher. Thank you, María. Mauricio Alberto. Mauricio Alberto. Miguel Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Olimpia Valeria. Olimpia Valeria. Oscar Esaú. Oscar Esaú. René Alfonso. Present. Thank you. Roxana Guadalupe. Thank you. Present. Thank you, Roxana. Verónica Cecilia. Verónica Cecilia. Cepeda. I remember I saw Verónica. Recuerdo que vi por ahí. Present. Yes. Thank you, Verónica. Verónica Alegría. Present. Thank you. Jensi, let me see. Yes, Jensi Alexandra. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Jessica Esmeralda. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Jessica Rivas. I remember Jessica. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue then. Okay, so we have the case of there is and there are here. Now, we watch the video and see more examples of that. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form state. Everything okay with the video? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. There is. Thank and you. there are also how to use some no and any when referring to different objects let's get started by listening to a conversation titled there aren't any chairs this conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting let's listen and practice the conversation this apartment is great thanks i love it but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a that's the article a or no plus complement for plural objects 
there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there then the verb to be is is um, on the example is contracted as you can see there's we will use the article a the complement is bed in the bedroom we're going to do something similar with the next example there's no sofa in the bedroom at the beginning of our sentence we have there the verb to be is is once again on the example is contracted then we will use the article a because we are talking about a singular object finally we have the complement sofa in the bedroom the last example there isn't a table in the kitchen at the beginning of our sentence we use there the verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative then we use the article a because we're talking about a singular object finally we have the complement table in the kitchen now let's look at the right hand side of this chart for these examples we're going to talk about plural objects so we need that formula there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart there are some chairs in the kitchen at the beginning of our sentence we use there after that the verb to be are next we use some it's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements we can't say any for example finally we have the complement chairs in the kitchen our next example there are no chairs in the living room at the beginning of our sentence we use there after that the verb to be are next we're going to use no notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative and you can also say aren't any as well either one is correct uh, finally we have the complement chairs in the living room for our uh, last example there aren't any chairs in the living room we start our sentence with there next the verb to be aren't after that we're going to use any it's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we are making negative statements we can't say some for example finally we have the complement chairs in the living room now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment. After you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, now that we watch it, we can have more practice here. As it explained there, it has these examples. There is, there are. There's a bed in the bedroom. Well, for example, in this picture, there's a bed. There's no sofa in the bedroom. Let's observe here, there's no sofa. This is one of the form of negative, but also we have another form, 
there isn't a table in the kitchen. Well, we have a kitchen here and we see no table here. And as I mentioned, we can use some contraction. There's equals to there is. So it's optional, right? You can use the complete manner. There is or there's. But remember, this one is only for singular elements. And for the plural, there are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. So let's keep in mind here that some is only for the affirmative and plural. And oh. there are no is for negative. And we have also plural as plural or also singular. And there aren't any is just to put more emphasis. Any is solo para poner más emphasis. Es que no hay nada de o no hay ninguna. So that's the form. Now, give me other examples, please. According to the kitchen. Let's see, Juan Antonio, can you give us an example, please, about the kitchen? Mm. You can use affirmative, Repeat. negative, example. Example about what you observe in the picture of the kitchen. What things, what furniture do you observe in the kitchen area? There are uh, um, there are no there are no microwave oven. Ah, okay. There in is the kitchen. A, that's right. There is no microwave oven. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Excellent. Yeah, that's good. Right. There is no microwave oven. We cannot observe that. That's great. Thank you. Let's continue. Ana Beatriz, give us another example. Can be singular or plural, affirmative or negative. Ana Beatriz, are you present? Jessica Esmeralda. Yeah. Oh, yes, Ana. Okay. In negative? Uh, the one that you prefer, you decide. In the bedroom, no? Tell me in the kitchen, please. In the kitchen. There's mm, no uh, table in the kitchen. All right, that's good. There's no table in the kitchen. Thank you, that's great. Okay, Miguel Antonio. Now tell us about the bedroom in affirmative. Miguel Antonio, are you there? Are you present? Angelica, Angelica Rodriguez. Sí. Yes, give us an example, please. Using affirmative yeah. with the picture of the bedroom. Um, yeah. hey, Ibis. There is. Casi no escuché el teacher. Ibis. A mí me dice. Ibis. No, es que Angélica. Oh, it's raining. Yeah. Okay. 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 Angélica, Angélica. Thank you. Um, there aren't any uh -huh. shoes in the bedroom. Ah, that's right. That's good. There aren't any shoes in the bedroom. Um, other sentences? Uh -huh. sentence? Yes, tell me. Uh -huh. What's uh -huh. the other sentence? There aren't. There aren't. There aren't a uh, refrigeration in the kitchen. Mm, okay, so in that case, there isn't, there isn't a refrigerator in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah, that's great. There isn't a refrigerator in the kitchen. Cool. Thank you. Other sentence. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Tell me. There are, there are, um, there are. Spoons in the kitchen? Ah, there are spoons, that's true. There are spoons in the, in the kitchen, correct. 
que se ven en la parte de atrás que están en la pared. Yes, it's true. Sí. They are here, right? Also, in this area. In this area de acá. Yeah. They are the spoons. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. That's correct. Means spoon yes. sería cucharas o cucharones. Cucharas, but in both. Both. It's a general, it's a general manner. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's the generalidades, right? The spoons. Good mm -hmm. Let's see, Carlos Arturo. Now tell us about the bedroom. There's a mirror in the bedroom. Hey, that's good. There's a mirror in the bedroom. There's a mirror in the bedroom. Teacher. Yes, tell me. There are some instrument musicians ah, music. in the bedroom. That's good. There are some musical instruments in the bedroom. Teacher. That's true. Yes. There, there is a dog. On there is the bed. a doll, it's yeah, that's bedroom. true. It's true, it's on the bed, correct. There's... The, and option one is uh -huh. the kitchen. There are, uh, there are some pantries in the kitchen. There are some pantries, yes, that's true. That's another one we can use. Good one, okay. okay. So as you observe, you know the existence of about singular, we know about plural, affirmatives, and the negative manner. Now let's repeat these cases here. We got the first one. There is no microwave oven in the kitchen. Let's see, Carlos Arturo, repeat it please. There is no microwave oven in the kitchen. There is no microwave <clears throat> oven in the kitchen. Thank you. Mauricio, continue. There is no table in the kitchen. Mauricio, are you there? Veronica Cepeda? There is no table in the kitchen. There is no table in the kitchen. Yes? Who else? Roxana? Tell me. Yes. Eh, allí donde quiso, en el bedroom, eh, no quiso poner, eh, está una muñeca sobre la cama. Es que repitió la palabra bed, creo. Ah, oh, yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, there's a bed, and there's a, a doll. Oh, yes, a doll. Yes, that's true. Thank you, thank you. Let's write it here better. Here. There's a doll on the bed. Thank you, thank you so much. On the bed. On the bed, correct, because there's a doll. Let's put it here. No, here. There's a doll on the bed. Yeah, good one. Thank you so much. Jonathan, let's continue. On the next one. There aren't any shows any in the shoes bedroom. In the bedroom. Thank you. Good one. Let's see, Roxana. Roxana Guadalupe. <clears throat> There isn't a refrigerator in the kitchen. There isn't a refrigerator in the kitchen. Thank you. Lenin, Lenin Monterrosa. There are spoons in the kitchen. Angelica, Angelica Rodriguez. Yep. Yes, there are spoons in the kitchen. There are spoons in the kitchen. In the kitchen, thank you. Jessica Rivas, there's a mirror in the bedroom. There's a mirror in the bedroom. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail, there are some musical instruments in the bedroom. There are some musical instruments in the bedroom. Thank you. Rene, there's a doll on the bed. There's a doll on the bed. That's all right. Good one, guys. Okay. Questions. Do you have questions with there is? There is and there are? Sí, sure. Yes, es, tell me. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice eh, guantes de cocina? Me los guantes. 
Oh, those are mittens. Mittens. Mm -hmm. Let me show you here. Mittens. Mm -hmm. Different than gloves, right? Gloves is in general. Pero de cocina, they are mittens. Mittens. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Miss. You're welcome. Yes, tell me. O sea que cuando se ocupa el there are, mm -hmm. no, se, no se especifica una cantidad. Es posible, es posible que sí se pueda utilizar. Puedo decir Brazil. también, por ejemplo, there are, let me see, which ones we can use here in plural. There are pictures, you can say, there are two pictures in the bedroom. Because you can observe one and two. Mm -hmm. Or possible you can use a specific or general. Posiblemente cuando digamos si va a decir que hay tres instrumentos, ¿verdad? De música. There are three. There are uh -huh. three musical instruments. Mm -hmm. Ese son or any lo utilizo solo para un cuantificador o para poner énfasis en algo. Ahora, si utilizo el cuantificador, no utilizo una cantidad específica. No podría ser como, there are three some, right? It's not logical. But you substitute, there are some. Solo es como para generalizar que hay algunas. Allí hay, allí está. Hay. Ajá, o, o hay algunas. Hay de existencia, del verbo haber. Algunas o ninguna, si es en el caso de negativa. Pero si utilizo la cantidad específica, entonces no utilizo el cuantificador. No son, no any. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, Miss. Thank you so much, guys. Have a beautiful night. We continue tomorrow, right? See you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have a beautiful night. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Teacher. Nice to see, see you, you tomorrow. See you tomorrow night. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care.